please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Carlsbad. It is a rainy Thursday morning, but you already know we have a great show planned for you today. To start off, we have a lead story on a CHS senior named Josh who really likes to mountain bike. Livy, what else are we going to have? We're also going to be having a few different lives, including astronomy club, choir, and men's varsity soccer. That's right, and then we're going to close up the show with Tommy Kelly on the magic window to tell us what NFTs are. Sounds like it's going to be a great show, Carlsbad. Let's get it started. I'm Livy Lewis. And I'm Holden Cisco. And CHS TV starts, starts right, right now. now. Welcome back, Carlsbad. To get us started, we have a story on Josh, a dedicated mountain biker here at our school. Let's take a look. And I ride and race mountain bikes. After picking up the sport from his dad, Josh has been biking for about six years now. I just go ride my bike, and for some reason it clicked years ago, and I've been doing it ever since, never looked back. As well as racing and riding through town, Josh enjoys hitting the jumps for fun on his own time. The trick I'm most proud of is the backflip. If I had told myself like 10 years ago that I would be doing a backflip on a bike, I wouldn't have believed it. Because like that just sounds so crazy to me. And for those who don't know what it's like to backflip a bicycle. It's like the coolest thing ever. Because you're just like flying through the air, you know? It's like zero gravity. <laughs> However, it hasn't always been flips and giggles for Josh. Sometimes I've struggled to see motivation to go out and ride my bike to get stronger, but then once the race season starts up and you actually start seeing that work pay off, um, then it kind of re-motivates me and then get back out there. Through his passion and hard work biking, Josh has learned some valuable life lessons. The more work you put in, the more you'll get out of it. So if you keep working, it'll come to you and eventually you'll, you'll be successful. Thank you, Josh, for the words of encouragement. Reporting for CHSTV with videographer Caden Barnes, I'm Zach Metzger. Thank you, Zach and Caden, for that story. Keep up the good work, Josh. The band holiday concert is Monday and Tuesday, December 13th and 14th at 7 p.m., with the orchestra holiday concert following it this Wednesday, December 15th at 7 p.m. Tickets are available on the GoFan app or website. If you are in need of some holiday cheer, the CAC will have a variety of entertainment this upcoming week. The Choir Holiday Show is Friday, December 10th at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Tickets are available for purchase at chschoral.com. Switching topics, now we have Allison live with Astronomy Club. What do you have for us, Allison? Thank you, Holden, and good morning. I'm here live with Astronomy Club Vice President Tressa Davis and member Kylie Cummings. So, Tressa, can you tell me what inspired you guys to start this club? Yeah, so everyone in the club is obviously very interested in stars, but everything going on with light pollution, it's getting harder and harder to see them, so it's really important to appreciate them now. That's a super unique way that you guys came up with the club. And Kylie, can you tell me some of your favorite activities that you guys do? My favorite activities is just meeting in Miss Chestnut's room, room 2009, every Wednesday, and all of us just being able to watch videos and discussing what we learn and what we love about astronomy. That sounds like a blast. And Tressa, what are some upcoming events that people who want to join can look forward to? Yeah, so hopefully we'll have another stargazing activity in the future when it clears up outside, and maybe even a fundraiser at Knockout Pizza. That sounds awesome. And I do have to ask, what is your favorite planet? I think it has to be Saturn. And Kylie? Mine's definitely Neptune. That's awesome. Thank you guys for coming on. I'm going to send it back to Libby. Thank you, Allison and Astronomy Club. All CUSD high school students have free access to Schmoop for test prep, homework help, and study skills. Log in through your Clever account. For this month, December the 13th will be early release, so be sure to mark your calendars. Attention all sophomore football players. There is a mandatory meeting in Coach Mack's room today at lunch. There will also be a mandatory meeting in Coach Mack's room today after school for all juniors. 
for our next break in the announcements, we have Sinead live with choir to talk about their upcoming show. Sinead. Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here live with Olivia, Haley, and Zach from choir. So can you tell me a little bit about your holiday show you've got coming up? Yeah, this weekend we have our holiday show, which is Friday at 7 o'clock, and then Saturday at 2 and 7. We've been working on it for a really long time. We have holiday music, solo acts, group acts, and you can get coffee at intermission, so you guys should definitely come check it out. That's awesome, and it also sounds like a pretty big deal. What have you guys been doing to prepare for that? Well, we've been preparing since November, and this whole entire week we've been having a tech week from 5 to 9, and we've been practicing with our band, which we are so grateful to have. That's awesome, and if students do want to come out and support, how can they buy a ticket? Tickets can be bought at chscoral.com. They're $15, but for students and staff of Carlsbad High School, they're $8. Sounds great, and do you guys want to show us a little snippet of what we'd see at the show? Yeah. Sure. Five, six, seven, eight. Santa, tell me if you're really there. Don't make me fall in love again if he won't be here next year. That's awesome, and if you guys want to see more of that, be sure to check it out this Friday and Saturday. Anchors, back to you. Thank you, Sinead, and great job, choir. Make sure to check out their show this week. Are you interested in learning about self-management strategies and career planning? Would you like to earn both college and high school credit? Counseling 100 is being offered next semester. This course is 100% online, and students will complete their coursework on their own schedule. See your counselor for more information. Do you need spirit wear? Lancer Jacks is open before school, at break, and at lunch. Come on by to make your purchase today. CUSD is now participating in Speak Up, a national research project. If you'd like to share your thoughts on technology use and virtual learning, see the front page of the CHS website. Peer tutoring is available now in the CHS library Monday and Friday before school, and Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday after school. No appointment is necessary, just drop in. Last night, men's soccer finished off their first tournament of the season very well, and we now have them live in the studio with Brock to talk about it. Brock. Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Brock Sarsons. Live here with men's varsity soccer, who have had a great start to their season. So, Brian, can you tell me about the silverware right here? Uh, this is a Francis Parker Cup trophy that we recently won. We played Montgomery, and we came out with a 4-0 win, and we are currently 5-0. And, and Lucas, can you tell me about, the team's only been together for two weeks. Can you tell me about the challenges that have arisen? So yeah, we haven't really had many practices. We've only had two, so it hasn't really given us time to truly bond as a team. And Tim, what have you learned about your teammates throughout this young season? I can just tell that we're one big family that's going to work for each other. And Dylan, you guys are 5-0. and How are you guys going to continue this good form? Yeah, just making sure we're staying focused at practice and us seniors are showing leadership for the rest of the boys. And Vince, finally, what are the details for the next game? Uh, tomorrow at 7 at SDA. And finally, any shout-outs? Uh, TikTok star Aiden Martin. I don't. Two. The original of Varsity Hotos. Sean on getting married. Varsity Hotos before. Well, congrats on your victory, guys. Well done. And holding back to you. Thank you, Brock, and best of luck tomorrow. Math Lab is now available before school in room, or sorry, from 725 to 825 a.m. in room 7106. If you would like to promote your school club, come by room 5105 before school or at brunch. Carlsbad High School will be hosting a fundraiser at Knockout Pizza on Monday, December 13th from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Knockout will donate 50% of sales back to CHS, so be sure to, show, be sure to stop by and grab a slice. Now live from Mr. Meilenberg's room, we have Taylor Andajero with a special guest for us. Taylor, what's up? Over to Mr. Meilenberg's classroom, and he's going to be introducing us to two of his companions that never miss a class. So here's Mr. Meilenberg right now. Mr. Meilenberg, can you introduce us to Raspberry? Well, hello everyone. Hi, Taylor. Hi. Yes, this is Raspberry. Raspberry is a ball python. That's awesome. Do you think I could hold her? Of course, Taylor. Would you like a ball python necklace? Yes. Thank you. So, can you tell us a little bit about Raspberry? Sure. So, uh, Raspberry is a ball python. She's about 12 years old. She is a constrictor, not a viper. So, in other words, she's not poisonous. So, don't worry. She will not bite you. <laughs> she might squeeze you, but give you a little hug. Thank you. And can we introduce us to Fuego? Yes. Okay. Nice stuff, so this is Fuego. He's a bearded, uh, bearded dragon. lizard, dragon. bearded dragon. Um, he likes to just chill in here. He's native from Australia. He likes to chill in his little tank back there and scare us when he randomly spazzes out. That's awesome. Well, thank you for introducing us to Fuego and Raspberry. And now I'm going to send him back to Holden at the desk. Thank you, Taylor. And I love the hat, Mr. Mylenberg. Now we have Tommy on the magic window to tell us a little bit more about NFTs. Tommy, what is up? 
What's up, Carl Sped? I'm here live on the Magic Window to tell you guys about something you might have already heard about, that is NFTs. If you take an econ class here at Carl Sped, I'm sure your econ teacher might have told you a little bit about NFTs, but I'm going to dive into it a little bit more. So, what are NFTs? NFTs are non-fungible tokens. Fungibility is the ability of something to not be replaced. It is irreplaceable, and that is exactly what NFTs are. Using blockchain technology, NFTs are impossible to replicate, and they have many applications. They use, um, they're mostly traded in Ether, which is the cryptocurrency for Ethereum, and they have many applications. Digital art, video games, sports, anything that can be translated to the internet and needs to hold its originality. Some arguments have surfaced uh, over NFTs, though. I have an NFT right here. It was probably sold for a lot of money, but I have it right here, so what makes it so valuable? But the same argument could be applied for an original Picasso painting. What makes the original one so valuable? It's the fact that it is the original. It's not a copy. And that is what NFTs ensure. They ensure originality. And that is what has led digital artists to making so much money. One digital artist, Beeple, recently sold one of his creations for $69 million. So obviously, this forum is, has a lot of potential for artists. All you artists out there, it might be time to put away the paintbrush and the canvas for a little bit and try out a mouse and a monitor. I hope you guys found this as, as, as interesting as I did, and I'm now going to send it back to the anchors. Thank you, Tommy. And yes, I did find it just as interesting. That's actually just insane, $70 million for one thing. Yeah, definitely. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit confused what FNTs were in my econ class, but Tommy definitely cleared it up for me. Yeah. That's all we have for you today, Carlsbad. It is a rainy day, so stay dry, stay safe. Bye. Hi. I'm Jacob Clark. Occasionally on CHS TV, we'll broadcast live from our Lightcraft studio. This technology is officially called virtual production, and it's pretty amazing. We'll explain how virtual production is quickly changing the way movies and television shows are produced. Stay tuned for more Lightcraft segments, and of course, every day we'll bring you magic window reports, live coverage via satellite, and of course, live guest conversation in our studio. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.